Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. And I welcome all of you to the final episode, at least I think so, of Mother 3. We have everything done. We have fought against Porky Bots. We've seen the real Porky, and now we are down here. In this cave, basement, whatever you want to call it. We have fully regained our strength thanks to the hot spring in the box. It's time to go through that hole and see what awaits us on the other side. Okay, not gonna lie, not what I was expecting. Creepy. But I like it. Kinda of reminds me of something. What is that? Okay. Whoopsie. Phenomena. What happens if I just attack you? Okay, I don't take damage. Which is super important to begin with. And... Some magic pudding. Magic pudding! To refill PSI points, that's really good. What do you have? You have the grilled chicken, luxury banana. I don't know if I need that, but I'm gonna stick with it. What is that? Couple live noodles, also good to have. Okay, you have some good stuff, everyone. You have the New Year's Eve bomb, which we're gonna use in the final fights. Uh, let's fight you as well, because... Sure, why not? This place is... No... Why? Okay, Franklin Badge. Damn it. Red didn't take too much damage, so we'll take it. Why were you so quick? I really don't like this place. It's creepy. It's eerie. It's purple. <laughs> it's purple and black. And magenta. And all uh, different shades of color purple. And pink. And don't touch me. Don't touch me. Rule number one. What are you? A mineral, mineral. Okay. And well, let's just attack you and see what we get from that. Okay. You have a little bit more health. Okay. You are also a little bit damaged. Goodbye, mineral. Thank you. Audio that suddenly got really distorted. I like that. Don't touch me, please. I'm not a big fan of you. The audio really does not like this place. I don't know why. Ow. Go down. Everything else is fine, just the audio really does not like this place, apparently. Well, whatever. This place is concerning me. If anything, it's really concerning me. I don't know how far I have to go in here. Uh, both of them. Uh, if I could just walk past you, that'd be... Ah. I was hopeful that I could just walk past you. Oh god, music. Calm down. Just a teensy bit, okay? You don't need to be perfect, but... Why is it so straining? Okay. Okay. Level 60, that's good for Komotora. I don't know why this place hates me so much, but whatever. Let's just move past our rift them. Because, uh, maybe it's because this place is rather resource intensive. Okay, that was Flint's head, or my dad's head, depending on how you want to see that. Last man. He's Claus. Lucas. He's your brother. Claus. I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy. But as a father, I finally found the son I lost. Lucas. Be happy. 
I finally, finally found your brother. Okay, I don't know if I... The final needle. Lucas, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me. Just hurry to the needle. You gonna do that, Dad? Please. Be well. I'm concerned that something happened. I'm upset about that. But whatever. Ah, you take my Franken badge and take that back to your face. And let me love you. And boom, goodbye. No need to waste any more energy if not necessary. Just go down. Thank ya. And a lot. Bonus level 63 now. I think with the levels that I am at, we should be more than good enough for the final fight. I think, I have no clue. Real bad? Ooh, Komotora got that, however. Something tells me that that's for Lucas. Um, let's, yeah, let's just drop it. There's no reason for me to have anything, like, stuff anymore with me around. Because I'm pretty sure I cannot sell anything down here. And if I can, well, it wasn't worth much anyway. For some reason, Komatora started to feel feverish. Okay, before I go any further, then I will make sure that Komatora uh, is not feeling feverish anymore so that she learns whatever PSI she is about to learn. Because that will only be helpful for us in the final fight. Knowing more PSI. And that would be really good if all the lag this place is giving me right now wouldn't be as... Oh, damn it. Stop! Stop! Stop right there! Oh! <laughs> this is re this really is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way to it as we speak. <laughs> uh -huh. That monster's name is Claus. Its name was Claus. That almost sounds like a person's name. But now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's master this slave robot does whatever I want say it acts on my will alone it's my double it doesn't know anything about you <coughs> Porky blocked the way not good Let's start with love! And Kumatora, you don't have anything. You have a super bomb. Sure, let's, let's throw that at the very beginning. And it's let's use a New Year's Eve bomb on you and see if that's gonna do anything for me. And you also have a bomb, so let's throw that. Pony threw the bomb. Good amount of damage. Does the New Year's Eve bomb. But it was a dog. That's why we bought a lot of them. Why is everything tanking so freaking much here? Okay, we have a PSI shield apparently. It's a good thing I did not use a Kumatora to attack him. What did Porky do? Okay, we are really tanking. Give me a moment here. I'm gonna try to change something around with the settings. Well, after a moment, because I need to heal myself, heal everyone up. And everybody just attacked for a moment. I really need to get this done here real quick. Get something. Okay. Couldn't stop crying. Couldn't stop crying. Couldn't stop crying. Great. Why is Lucas the only one that can dodge that? Can I know that, please? It would be really nice to know. Bone is the only one that didn't get, can, didn't get attacked so far. Whatever. Give me a moment. I'm gonna try to fix that. 
Okay, so I'm back. Let's... For you, there was only a cut there, but whatever. Let's see if things are better now. So, healing heals everyone. So let's go with that. Come on. I really want to use PSI, but you have a PS... You have a PSI shield. And I have something against PSI shields. It's called a shield snatcher. Yeah! Why do I always forget about that thing? Through the bomb. Nice. Starstorm. There we go. It's a little bit better. And there you go. PSI counter. Well, that's okay for me. Well, is it better? It's not as laggy. The audio always was a little bit funky, but I don't see anything lagging on screen. So, healing. I don't. There we go, still lagging. I don't know. Okay. Need to change something up again. I don't know what the problem is. Give me a lot of moments there, but that's important for me. Uh, let me fill you in on something. Right after that. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. Even if I somehow wind up beaten, I'll never die. Bet you didn't know that, did ya? No, I didn't. How would I? So, give me a sec. I'm gonna try to fix that. Okay. Back again. It should work. I say, I don't trust myself there. I try a few different things in the hope that things work out somewhat. I myself can't even be sure if the things I'm doing are 100% working, but we're gonna figure that out and if need be, we're gonna do it live. For me. You will have it cut out because it's not a stream, so that's good. Shield Snatcher! You not get your PSI shield there, Porky. So. And Porky sprayed some. Oh. Okay. Well, animation seemed to be a lot better. Yeah, I think I got it figured out. Yeah. Everything's smoother now. I've gone through time and space so many times that I haven't aged like a normal person. Who knows? I might be 1000 years old. Or even 10,000 years old. But despite that, I'm still the same kid at heart. Is that funny? It is, isn't it? Does it make you laugh? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing, that's actually really tragic. Well, do I have... Uh, which parfait? No. Okay, you don't have anything for... I don't think that will help me against you. I don't think for you I don't have anything that would retain PSI. Komatora would have stuff, but she should use Star Storm as much as possible. Do you have anything of that sort? The answer seems to be great. Golly, no. I don't think you regained your... Um... Thing. Thank you. Oh, Super Bomb. Let's use that. Your PSI shield, so I do not have to worry about that. A pencil rocket? Yes. One, two, three. Focus. Oh, I should have... Well, no, it wouldn't have done anything. Because Bonnie is faster. What did Torki do? You threw a bomb. That's what Porky did. There's a good bit of damage. And also for Komatora. And there you go. Let... No, I need some... Yeah, double jerky. Oh, Lucas, you had magic put in. I should probably use that Star Storm. You use... Uh, I don't wanna use too many New Year's bombs for that Shield Snatcher. Come on. And the shield disappeared. Ooh, that was actually not too bad from the time guy. And... There we go. Star Storm! And Double Turkey! Okay. Porky. If the dragon wakes up, it might end up destroying everything and extinguish all life. Even so... <laughs> Even so, I'll be alive. Me 
yet the dragon will be the only things left alive in the whole wide world. I'm more than ready for that possibility. <laughs> <laughs> my, with my internal life, I will see the world through to its end until everyone who won't like me is gone. You're sick, Porky. Pretty sure you know that. But you're sick, Porky. Starstorm, and you don't have anything to heal, do you? Let's roll one more New Year's Eve bomb, because why not? Uh, you have lots of couple light noodles. Cause it's an enemy just stink. They're ever making it the target of everyone's attacks. Not really necessary. Causing a swarm of beasts to attack. Not necessary for that. Let's heal Lucas with you. And there you go. And counter device. I knew that that was gonna happen again. But I need it. What did Porky do? Probably just attacked. New Year's Eve bomb, but it was a dud, yet again. I'm not counting so much on that being something that works 100%. Magic Puddin, and then recover, life up, Omega for everybody, you use nothing of that sort, you just attack. Everybody just attack. Not necessary in the moment. I need you to just quickly go through with everything, did something, nobody can still do attack Komotoro because she already is really hurt. Here we go, and... Everybody, please. There you go. That's what I want to see. Komotaro attacks. It's so much, so little damage. I'm gonna take my time now with choosing what we're gonna use because I don't want to use up my counting up because it helps me more if I have more time with the whole thing counting down. So you do that, and you also use something like this. Uh, how many New Year's Eve bombs do I have? Three. I don't really want to use them on Porky, because I think it's better for me to use them on later fights, because I know that there's one more fight. I uh, don't need to use the... I don't have really anything else, instead of a bug spray, despite the fact that I know that I don't need that. So that, again, will be rather less damage. And let's you lower Porky suck something. Ah, uh, you healed yourself. Okay. Magic Puddin. And now... You will burn! Love! No. Uh, still not enough for Star Storm. I could go for Thunder, since I know that that can deal a bunch of damage. Let's see if we can lower your uh, defense. Let's go for Shield Snatching there. And tickle you. Hey, it even goes down. Thunder. Good. One hit. Two hits. I like it. And really like it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And Porky threw a bomb again. A flare. I don't know what. Love! Okay. Thank you for playing along with me all the way to the end like this. I'm actually a pretty nice guy, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, the nicest of us all. Um, don't really want to use much there because I kind of feel like I will need that stuff. So I actually could sniff you. Let's see if I can find something out about you. There we go, a little bit more damage. PSI counter device, nobody cares because we don't use PSI anymore. Because we barely have anything. There was a lot of bombs there. Okay. And uh, no, you have a grilled chicken, let's give that to Pony. And everybody just attack. Everybody just attack. That was a good hit there. What the pork you do? Nobody knows. Nobody casted your attack Pony again. Critical damage there for Komatora and the chicken for Boney because I don't want to have Boney go down because he have a couple of life moves. Oh. Oh. I'll never die. I'll never die. Nor will I ever be beaten. But it appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment. <laughs> Lucas, you haven't won. 
Just so you know. I'm going to duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right. There's no such thing as absolutely, but there is such a thing. And it's this. The absolutely safe capsule. It tricked Dr. and Donuts and the Mr. Saturn into making for me. 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 All for me. <laughs> Porky sealed himself inside the absolutely safe capsule. At that point, um, luxury banana for Komotora and everybody tell us to tag. We cannot deal damage to that thing. And let's use that because I just don't want to have Komotora go down. Doesn't do anything. I don't know if Lucas was hurt critically. Were you? You weren't. Don't know if I need to heal you in that case, because I also don't think that the capsule does anything. Inside the absolutely safe capsule, Porky is sticking his tongue out at you. Because Porky is sealed inside the absolutely safe capsule. The battle is, by definition, over. Oh my! As evil as old pork here is, I feel bad for him now. It's true that the absolutely safe capsule that the Mr. Saturn and I developed together can protect one from every manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule. But once you enter it, you can never exit it. Even what's inside, outside of the absolutely safe capsule, is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But all he can do now is live for eternity inside the capsule, in absolute safety. Who knows, in a way, he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong of me to think this way? Maybe? Don't know? No? It's not wrong, you say? I wonder. And some I get the feeling it is. It's convoluted because Porky wants to live forever. And he does not want to have any harm to befall him. So you might be right in saying that he got what he wanted, but is it what he deserved is the better question and in that case, I say that is a much worse fate than anything else. Being alive forever. Whole world can be destroyed, nothing can be left. You just this ball, this capsule floating around in the nothingness of time and space. And you can't die. It's horrible. I would break in this circumstance. I'd go crazy. I don't know what would happen to me. But yeah. Is it wrong to think that that is what he wanted? Nah, I think that's exactly what he wanted. Want to roll him around a bit? No, no, it's okay. It is absolutely safe after all. Rolly, rolly. <coughs> Whee! Rolly, rolly. Okay. Pork is sticking his tongue out at you from inside the absolutely safe capsule. Good for you, Pokey. And the fever went away. That's all I wanted to have. PK ground? But well, that's news to me. What the frick is PK ground? Never heard about that. And you should think I had. Damages all enemies with an earthquake. Can't be reflected by any kind of PK's mind. That's freaking... I love it! 
Let's hope there's something to uh, heal my party with. And I now, as well, don't know how long this episode is actually going. But we're gonna just go to the very end of everything here. Don't care how long it is. Because I also don't have any clue as to how long it actually is. Because of all the things that I had to do behind the scenes to get the recording smooth and loud. Okay, goodbye Lucas. Uh, let's just attack. I don't feel like reviving Lucas in that situation. Not because I do not like Lucas, but because I want to have all my uh, regeneration items for the final fight. Hey there! Hop, do you need something? Not now. In a moment. Okay, you said something about the final frog there. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't read that. We're gonna read that in a second. But let's regain our strength. Music strange, creepy, and I don't really like it. So let's talk to you again. Hop, do you need something? Yes. Let's save. I don't think I need DP stuff anytime soon anymore. So we saved. I am the fan frog in the game. It's been such a short time, though it seems long to you. In any case, thank you for your continued patron patronage throughout it all. For me, and all the other frogs, I thank you. Hop, teardrop. Also, kind regards from the last frog that we met. Um, you don't give kind regards to the next frog that we meet because you just said that you are the last one. So, you wouldn't have anyone ne next in line to give regards to. That's so creepy. I like it. I really like it. Okay. I think that's it. Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the masked man's lightning back at him. That's fascinating. I could go ahead and revive everyone. We have couple life noodles. And Comator is back. I should have revived Bony. Okay. I feel like I cannot do anything with the others. I don't know what gives me that feeling, but something tells me that that's how it is. Let's go with uh, PSI Counter Omega. Sure, why not? There we go. Because I have the Franklin badge, I don't need to worry about the... Uh, ah, you have a shield killer. But that was a counter and not a shield. So... Do I have anything that's not PSI related? This is an enemy to slip and fall and inflicting damage. Interesting. Let's use a rich coffee. I have the feeling that I'm gonna die in this fight. Because I wasted so much time here at the very beginning. Let's use love. Don't know if I need to do that. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. Oh. Interesting. I cannot attack him because I know that he's my brother probably. In that case, let's recover myself here. And then we just try to attack normally. Because since we seem to be unable to attack him. Let's wait a little bit for our life ticket to go up. Because I want to have the extra time from it ticking down. As reaction time. It's necessary in this game that you plan that in as well. I tried it a lot of times, but sometimes it just does not work that way. Okay, let's attack. And... We still can't attack. Shield killer, I don't have a shield, so... Nothing there. PK love. Okay. That looked brutal. Let's go and recover my HP there again. 
not feeling too bad about anything there. Okay. Lucas. Is it coming back? Is that what's going on there, masked man? Was from somewhere. You heard someone call your name. Okay. Let's attack again. Let's see. Still can't attack, it seems like. And you attack. You still can't attack because Porky took every shred of you away from you. So, life up. Since I don't seem to be able to revive everyone else, let's just keep Lucas up and running. Let's attack you. There we go again. say anything because the game will tell it to us. It was Hinawa's voice. It failed to reach the masked man. Such a shame. And for some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Uh, but he still can attack me. We have quite a lot of damage but as long as I have my PSI and my life ups I'm just gonna use that. Because deep what else? And you attack again keeping me at essentially always the same level and I still cannot attack you attack me and you still took me down actually class stop this you aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. Masked man looked around, not gonna lie, that freaked me out, the sudden static in the background. Okay. I still cannot attack. You still can attack. You take a lot of time. I still have one more attack in me. Still cannot attack. It should still be fine, I hope. So there we go. And life up. And there we go. Yeah, it is. You attack, and let's just give it a moment. Because again, I just want to have the ticker go up as high as possible before any damage comes in. It's a raiding game at points, but it is necessary to get a little bit of an edge. Because the ticker, you're only down once the ticker reaches zero. As long as the ticker is running, you're still in the game, even if you're morally damaged. If it deals 10,000 damage now and the ticker is not at zero, I don't care about it. So I'm gonna wait that thing out as long as needed before we can move on with the final fight there. But that's it. 300, I just continue because that's close enough for me. Attack me, there you go. Take it goes down. I don't care, I have now a few turns of just doing that. And I still cannot attack. And you do that. Mortal damage, but I have a lot of ticket to go down through, so I don't care right now. So... Let's attack. Until something happens. Maybe at one point I don't need to attack anymore. Use PK love. Lucas! Look out! Flint jumped in front of... Dead! The masked man's attack dealt major damage to Flint. Close. 
Please remember, I've been looking for you for so long. Oh no! Death! Flint suffered major damage. Flint couldn't stand up. Death! Oh god, Dad! I oh! I attacked him. Okay. Lucas. Stop fighting. Okay. Will I... Okay. Hinaba's voice. Sadly echoed. You attack me. But I don't care because I can still do that. I s <laughs> don't know if I should attack him or not. You missed me. I'm gonna use laugh up again. And we're gonna wait it out again. Should I not attack? I don't know. That's an interesting point. Should I just be on guard the whole time? Should I do what my mom tells me to and stop attacking Claude? Or do I have to attack him? I don't know. I'm conflicted right now. I couldn't attack him before, now I can attack him. Is this... <clears throat> it's tough. It's my brother. But he tried to kill a dad as well. Huh. <sighs> It's a good game. That point right there is really good. Okay, use your love. Nobody cares about that because I'm just gonna attack and see what happens if I do that a few times. You attack. I have enough health now to basically say I don't care anymore. Because I don't think this fight is won by who stands last. This fight is won by something else. I think. Just like the fight against Gigas was won by something else. Okay. Another, what do you have to say? Klaus. You and Lucas are brothers. Okay. Let's just keep it going. See where this will end. Ouch, that hurts. But again, I'm going with I have more time to fight you than you have to fight me. So let's just go and do whatever I can. Yet you deal Oh You deal a lot of more damage, but I don't care. Okay, Nava. What's next? He doesn't seem to listen. As am I not listening. Can you hear me? You're close. Your name is Claus. You're our son. Okay. Continue. Smack! Okay. And it's time for me to heal myself up again. I'm gonna wait up until I'm fully healed again while I'm trying to process the things that are going on right there. I don't know still if I should keep attacking or not. I don't know if there's multiple ways to end this fight with not attacking and just have the dialogue roll in or if I have to attack to make the dialogue happen. I don't know that. 
and also just realized that Klaus has one hand as a gun. Why did it take me so long to realize that? I don't know, it just did. Those are the toughest fights. The fights where you don't know if you're doing the right thing or not. We are just keep going for the sake of things to happen with the slight feeling in the back that you are messing something up big time. It's a good fight there. Would have every fight been like this it would have been annoying because then this wouldn't feel as grand as it does. Mortal damage already? You're annoying. But whatever. I have a lot of time for it to tick down. So I can stand there for a good bit. Okay, Hinawa. What's the next message that we get from you? Please. Remember. Lucas. Klaus. think we would be blessed with two children at once. I bet they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot too. And, and I can see them help each other out when they need it. them up a lot until they get bigger. Klaus and Lucas. Huh. How do you want them to grow up to be? To be kind, just like you. I was just going to say and to be kind just like you great then it's decided Hey! Oh, nice! It caught me right there where I stopped. Lucas shut his eyes tightly. Okay. Last man attacks. Oh, only 14? Gazed at Lucas. Okay. Let's close my eyes again. I miss! He attacked me. 16. The masked man covered his ears. Okay. Nothing. Okay. That's really neat. The masked man shut his eyes. Come on. Come on, Claus. That's so good right there. I know there has been a lot of you gaze at Lucas again. I know that there has been a lot of frustrating moments. Oh, I just attacked you this time. Lucas wanted to cry. 
But I think the end right there is mostly worth a lot of those frustrating moments. You're gazing at me. Class. 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 Come to your mother. You must be so exhausted. Come here, Klaus. The masked man looked around as if searching for something. The masked man removed his mask. His face looked just like Lucas. It was Klaus. Klaus fired an intense bolt of lightning. Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the lightning back. Klaus took mortal damage. Klaus staggered toward Lucas. Klaus embraced Lucas. Lucas remembered Klaus's smell. I'm sorry it turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks. Dad. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where mom is now. Lucas. I hope we meet again someday. Bye. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Klaus gave his final breath. Lucas, thank you. Klaus was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Yeah. Both Hinava and Klaus have entrusted fate to you. Believe in yourself and pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dragon 
dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart onto the dragon. Pray to it from the bottom of your heart. Ask it to protect all life in this world. Me and everyone else. We all believe in you. So now you need to believe in yourself. Now go. The dragon is waiting to wake up. You're alive. In the lives of all who believe in you. Have you put it all on the line? And put the final needle? Yeah. 